The Smith & Nephew Biceptor Tenodesis System was created to provide a simplified procedure for biceps tenodesis. The Biceptor Tenodesis System does not require whip stitching the tendon, which means fewer steps for an all arthroscopic repair. The result is a strong repair featuring the BioSure PK interference screw. Create standard arthroscopic portals in which a diagnostic arthroscopy is performed. This includes a posterior soft spot portal and lateral portal. Shown here are a rotator interval anterior portal and a second working portal positioned approximately 3 to 4 centimeters inferior lateral to the rotator interval portal. Insert a spinal needle at the anterolateral edge of the acromion into the shoulder joint just anterior to the supraspinatus tendon and through the biceps. Introduce a monofilament suture through the needle and biceps tendon. Using a grasper, retrieve one limb of suture out the anterior interval portal. Remove the spinal needle. Accessing the joint through the anterior interval portal, use a basket punch or arthroscopic scissors to cut the long head of the biceps tendon at its insertion point onto the labrum. Debride any bicep stump that remains. Retrieve the remaining arm of suture so that both arms exit the interval portal. Perform a bursectomy down the face of the humerus anteriorly and mobilize the biceps tendon out the bicipital groove. Move the tendon to the side. The tendon fork can be used to assist with this. Locate the desired position in the bicipital groove for reattaching the tendon. Drill the 2.4 mm guide wire perpendicularly to the humeral shaft in the desired location in the bicipital groove. The tendon fork can be used as a drill guide for placing the 2.4 mm drill pin. Keep the 2.4 mm guide wire in place and ream over with the appropriately sized endoscopic drill XL to a depth of 30 mm. Use line to line sizing. For example, use an 8 mm endoscopic drill for an 8 mm interference screw. Using the proximal sutures, tension the biceps tendon to return the long head of the biceps to the desired tension. At this point, it is important to release tension on the biceps tendon. Place the tendon fork through the cannula and capture the tendon. Insert into the drilled hole until the tendon reaches the far cortex. Important note, when pushing the biceps tendon into the prepared hole, release tension on the biceps tendon to allow it to easily slide into the hole. Insert the 1.5 mm tendon pin through the cannulation on the tendon fork. Attach the bi-grip pin puller on the back of the tendon pin and mallet the pin until it bottoms out on the handle of the tendon fork. Remove the bi-grip pin puller and the tendon fork, leaving the 1.5 mm tendon pin in place. Place the BioSure PK interference screw onto the biceptor driver and insert over the 1.5 mm tendon pin. Screw in until fully inserted. Remove the driver and the 1.5 mm tendon pin. Reattach the bi-grip pin puller to the end of the tendon pin if you need assistance in removing the tendon pin. Trim excess tendon.